Hey pilots, Drain Man here, and today I have a very special video. Today we are continuing in the Kiss My Quad series. What is the Kiss My Quad series? Well, it's a series all about Kiss. If you're new to Kiss, this playlist is for you. If you want to get into Kiss and you don't know about Kiss, then this playlist is for you too. The playlist has already been rolling. We've already got a couple videos out. If you've missed them, make sure you go. I'll put a link down in the video description and get caught up so you can kiss your quad too. The next step in this series is to create switches on our Tyrannus and then go ahead and set it up inside of the GUI. Let's go. Alright pilots, now we are at the Tyrannus. If you have the X9D, then you're going to follow this exactly. If you have a QX7, it's going to be a little bit different, but it's still going to be the same. And if you're running any type of radio that runs the OpenTX protocol, because maybe you're running something like the Jumper, which is this radio here. If you're running something like this, then it's going to be very, very similar. It's just going to look a little different. But for the most part, it's all the same unless you're not flying or using OpenTX firmware on your radio. All right, so let's take the first step, and that is to go ahead and create the model. Oh yeah, that was the right switch. Switch warning. So I'm going to hit menu, and I'm going to just go to a blank spot, and I'm going to hit enter, create model. All right, pilots, so now that I've created a new model, let's go ahead and name the model really quick. Now I'm going to go ahead and pick a image for it. And if you want to learn how to set an image up or you liked my splash screen or anything like that, I have an entire playlist on the Tyrannus. You can go ahead and check that out. I'll put a link down in the video description. So we're going to hit menu, hit page, page, page. And once you're here on the inputs page, let me get you in a little bit closer. All right, now that we're in the inputs page, we're going to go down to channel five. And I'm not going to touch none of the first four because I need those. Those are our actual stick inputs. So don't touch those first four. Go ahead and hit enter. I don't set an input name. I just don't like doing it. But if you want to, you can go ahead and, for example, this is going to be our arm switch. You can click enter and then make this say arm. But I'm not going to do that. Some guys do it. I don't do it. I'm going to go to the source. I'm going to press enter. And then I'm going to move the switch that I want, which is this switch. Just give it a couple flicks. But all you need is one. After you've done that, then you're going to press exit exit and one more time then I'm gonna head down to six and I'm gonna press enter again I'm gonna change the source and I'm gonna want turtle mode and I always set my turtle mode right here so I'm gonna give that a couple moves and as you'll see it registered the name of that switch now I'm gonna go ahead and exit I really don't use many other things but I'm gonna go ahead and set one more switch just in case we decide to use it and let's set one up right here all right now that we've set our three switches inside of our inputs and I do want to talk about idle up this is a kiss quad I rather run idle up than air mode but I'll show you guys how to do that in a different video if you're curious about that you can look in the video description if there's a link then I've made the video. All right, go ahead and hit page, and you're going to come over to the mixer. And this part is so easy, guys. All you're going to do is come down to five and press enter and exit. Down to six, enter, exit. Down to seven, you guessed it, enter and exit. And exit all the way out. And it is literally that simple. You have now set up the outputs or inputs on your radio so you've set up inputs these are your inputs and then you've gone ahead and set it in the mixer now this thing is ready let's head over to the PC all right pilots now we're in the GUI go ahead and connect your flight controller when I connected mine I, I instantly received power to my receiver and the reason why is because the way that I've wired mine my receiver is connected to an alternate pad that is actually powered from the USB cord off of 
the flight controller. So if you followed my build video, which is the Apex build video, then your Crossfire will have power too. Now go ahead and hit connect. The first thing you need to do once you've connected is you need to go to the receivers tab. And we're going to learn all about setting all of this up. But right now, just for this video, we're going to learn how to set up switches. So go to the receivers tab and pick the receiver that you have. Me, I put a Crossfire in mine. I have the Crossfire Nano. So I am going to scroll down here to TBS Crossfire and then I'm going to hit save. After you've done that, you're good to go. Head over to the data output. There you go. Now in the data output, you'll see that my sticks are responding to my Tyrannus. And that's because everything's connected and everything's working properly. So what we need to do now is figure out which auxiliaries we've selected. So let's go ahead and start with our arm switch. So I'm going to move the switch that I've designated for arm. And as you can see, that is auxiliary one. So now I'm going to head over to configuration and in here, you will see where it says aux functions. We are going to work on arm. So I'm going to open that up and I'm going to put it on aux one because that's where I've set it. Then I'm going to go to the next little tab here and I'm going to click that and I'm going to go to high. And before I go any further, I'm going to hit save so that it remembers what I've done. And I'm going to go to the data output. So is it low? Or is it high? So it's a little bit different than beta flight. And how this is working is off the number. So you have a number which is a ratio of that channel. So you've got all the way down to 1,000, 1,500 in the center, and then you've got 2,000 at max. This is only a two position switch. So we're just going to have a 1,000 and a 2,000. So what I'm doing now is I'm looking for the position that that switch is on for me. So for me, actually, you'll see here, let me show you. So for me, when I turn on, which is the downward, that's that, I'm turning on, I'm down at 1,000. So that means I'm going to be at low. You might flick on your arm switch going like this. And if that's what you've done, then looking in the configurator, you'll see that you're at 2,000, which actually means high. So for me, mine's going to be low. So I'm going to go back to configuration, and I'm going to change that to low and I'm gonna hit save. I have now successfully set up an arm switch. The next thing I wanna set up is turtle mode. So let's go back to the data output, and in here I'm gonna move the switch that I've designated for my turtle, which is this one, and as you can see, that is aux two. So now I need to know which position I wanna turtle in, and I like to turtle in that position. So what does it say? It says 2000. So 2000 is actually high. So now this is a three position switch. This is a good example because I'll be able to show you. So let's say you wanted to be able to turtle from not 1000, but 1500 and 2000. So that would be medium and high. So now going back to the configuration, if I wanted to be able to do it in both, I would first I'm going to set this in aux two. And if I wanted to be able to set this in both, I would go medium plus high. So now when I'm using medium or high, which is the bottom two or the top two, whatever you want to call it, I'm actually going to be able to get into turtle mode by doing that. But that's not how I'm doing mine. Mine is just going to be in high. So I'm going to come to aux two and I'm going to make that say high and I'm going to hit save. All right, pilots, so now you know how to set up switches. As you can see, it went very well, and it's actually very easy. There's not much to it. Sorry I had to make this long video all about it, but for the new guys, they'll appreciate it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next one.